Hi, I'm Ann Yorks. I'm the owner of Flower Box Bakery, and with the baking season just around the corner, I wanted to give you some of my best baking tips. Let's get started. I like to use a classic sugar cookie recipe. So my dough is chilled and ready to go. So I'm just going to take a small section of dough to roll out. Notice that I keep my dough flat, not in a ball. It'll be easier to roll. And I'm going to put the dough on my baking mat. This is the Dough Easy Baking Mat. I used to roll my cookies with a floured surface and eyeball the thickness, and then I got my Dough Easy Mat, and I really like this a lot better. It's very easy to use. I have my spacer sticks, and they are a quarter inch thick, which is the thickness that I like my cookies. So I just place my dough right in the middle of the spacer sticks, and then I fold the mat closed, and I'm ready to roll. So I just roll out the dough. If I notice that my mat gets a little bit wrinkled, I'll just open the mat and close it again. And then once the rolling pin is just rolling along the spacer sticks, I know my dough is an even thickness and I'm ready to cut out the cookies. For even baking and browning, I always use a sheet of parchment paper on the cookie sheet. I'm making some hedgehog cookies. So I'm just gonna press my cutter into the dough. And then the one thing that I really like about the dough easy mat is that the cookie just peels right off and it makes it nice and easy for keeping my cookie shape. Now, if your recipe is a little bit stickier, you might consider using just a little bit of flour with your mat, um, but hopefully you can get away with no flour. And then I just collect up all the little pieces, roll it into a ball, and I re-roll. And that's one of my favorite things about the mat is that I don't add flour every time I re-roll. So your recipe is really gonna stay intact no matter how many times you roll your dough. I also love the easy cleanup of the dough easy mat. There's no messy floured surface that needs to be scrubbed down. I just wash both sides of the mat. Usually my cleanup is done before my cookies are even done baking. If you really want your cookies to keep their shape, pop the cookie sheet back into the fridge and chill for another 10 to 20 minutes. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Ovens vary, so test your recipe and your baking temperature. Bake for 11 to 13 minutes, but baking times also vary, so don't forget to do a test. Cookies should be a light brown on the edge. Make sure you cool your cookie completely before decorating. Bake similar sized cookies together for even browning. For more tips, videos, and decorating supplies, visit flowerboxbakery.com. Happy decorating!